Good evening, everybody, and welcome to period eight. Have I got the period right? Yes. <laughs> I've had a long day in the sunshine, guys. Period eight recognition. Congratulations, everybody, on another fantastic period. What I want to say is I'm really proud of you all uh, working through the, the, the tough recession, through tough times. We have got a recession-proof business, though. So um, and people are looking for money. So um, I am going to start with my recognition because I'm in a talk too much mood tonight, feeling positive. Um, I'm hoping that I don't start coughing, <laughs> which has went well so far. First of all, I want to recognise uh, Tom and Kate Forbes for being in the tops, being the, the top new sponsor for PDD. Hey. Thank you very much. <laughs> Period seven, we're in period eight. Thank you, now for period seven. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Welcome in recognition for period eight. <laughs> I did ask you, and you'd all said, I was period eight, but you must have been meaning this. Yeah, but we're in period eight now. I was so sure we did. I, I, I had too many jobs to do. I was just too excited with the results. <laughs> right, our top 10 retailers are, and Number one, Janet Lyle and Steve Reese. She's going to have a wee clap at the end or as we go through it. Number two, or say yeah, that works. Tom and Kate Forbes. Yay. Number okay. three, Peter Savage. Yay. <laughs> I'm going to say yeah for everybody. Number four, Amanda and Nigel Oliver. Yay. Number five, Kevin and Lisa Wright. Yay. Yay. I'm feeling silly now. Michael <laughs> Bernie. Yeah, I can't stop now because number seven's coming up. Fiona Waddingham. Yay! Yay. <laughs> it's easier if you're here. Michael Hull and number eight. Well done, Michael. Alan and Anne Pleasant and number nine. Well done, guys. And, and Bonnie Island. And this is, yeah, for eight, nine and ten in Bonnie Island. Jim Moynihan. So that's our top ten. Hey, well done, guys. Absolutely brilliant. Now, going on in my recognition, and then once I've done my recognition, um, I'll put it over to Jane and uh, Kate for to recognise theirs, but also want um, to recognise <laughs> the people who have already qualified as um, for the VIP. And I know that Tom and Kate Forbes have. Well done, Tom and Kate. I need help here because this is the one I didn't put in front of me. I know Janet Lyle and Steve Lee, Lisa. Well done. And there's somebody else for our team though. There's more than that. Amanda and Nigel probably. Yeah. yeah. I'll let me just, I, I, Kate reminded me just before I came on and I meant to look for it. So maybe I'll do that recognition at the end if somebody's kind enough to look for that for me. Um, it's on. It's on the site. It's coming into the waiting room. One. I'll say, Fiona. Did you have you qualified, Fiona? For no. I got one more to go. That's one more. I knew you'd be close to it. So in the waiting room, did you say? Yeah. Trisha's just logging in. Um, she disappeared again. She must have tried and got kicked out. It does tell me. So I'll let her in when she joins I'll us. Nice um. Nigel Amanda, 99% set, and Peter Savage, 99% set, and I don't have it in front of me, I'll get it before we finish, shame on me, it was Kate who reminded me at the beginning, and I said, oh, I'll get that between the two trainings, <laughs> not forgetting that I would prattle on, Viva MK Star, well done, Clive and Dorothy Britton, and uh, Raymond Whitaker, Raymond, you were closer to Star 500, well done, not too far away for Star 500 for Raymond there. Star 500, Mark Way, Alan and Alan, Alan and Anne Pleasant, Jonathan Farmer and Megan Markle, Newla and Cloda McDonald, um, Jim Moynihan. Yep, sorry, I was thinking I've just said his name. That's because he's got he was just under a thousand. Uh, Jim Moynihan and Jeff and Jenny Bell. Well done. <clears throat> now we're going up to star 1000. Kevin and Lisa Wright. Michael Bernie. 
Debs Bennett, Joanne Lamb, bless her, still at work, thinking about you, and Amanda and Nigel Oliver. Welcome, guys. I'll point out that, as you know, Nigel does the majority of the detail, and he was at a hospital with his leg, but they still managed to do around about £1,500, even though he's got a bad leg. So, well done, guys. That's a cracking customer base. Here's Trisha coming now. That's a cracking customer base views I've built up there. Just wait. Oh, she's having to be yawn. I'll be boring you already, Trisha. <laughs> good evening, Trisha. How are you? Hi, uh, hello. I'm just getting my first set up. Hi. Good to see you. We're, we're, we're twins tonight. We were wee pigtails. <laughs> Have I got my thing me on? Can you yeah, see you've got your volume on. I can hear you. I can hear you. Can you see me? I. Yeah, we can see you. Looking beautiful. Oh, thank you. With a wee matching <laughs> pigtail. Um, uh, <laughs> what is Star 2000? So it's Star 2000. We have Andy and Claire Stevenson, Sue Baines, Jim and Jane White, Janet Lyle and Steve Reese. And that's them. Everybody. Everybody else, so just Jane's ones on the night. And Star 4000, Tom and Kate Forbes. Thank you very much. Well done. And that's my team's recognition. So well done, guys. Fantastic period seven. Proud of every single one of you. And now I'm going to pass you to Kate, who's going to recognise her team. Thank you very much. Um, now, I'm actually having a technical difficulty tonight because I'm on Zoom on my phone. And for some reason, I've, I've texted my recognitions to myself. And normally, I can go and have a look at my text while I'm still on Zoom. But I'm finding it's jumping me out tonight. So I've, I've tried it a couple of times and it's jumping me out. So I apologise if I miss it. I have got my Excel. Do you want me to get my Excel sheet? <laughs> uh, no, you're okay. It's okay. I'll remember it. So um, first of all, I would right, like to recognise uh, a couple of new people who joined Team Velocity in period seven. Uh, first of all, Louise Mullins, who joined at the beginning of period seven and managed to generate orders of over £200 in the first four weeks. Well done, with a few catalogues working online and she's very very busy she runs her own company as well so uh, very very proud of you louise i'm looking forward to seeing you at the showcase i really hope you can make it um and also in our team who joined the business i think in the middle of week two of period seven uh, it was laura wright and laura has qualified star 300 and earned herself a full uh, free retail kit in her very first Excellent. month of business. well done laura <laughs> Really proud of you, both of you, Louise and Laura. Well done. Um, Excellent. Mary, who's on with us tonight, Star 500. Well, well done, Mary. Uh, Claire Mayer, Star 300, and Louise's team. Fantastic. Claire, I know you've got lots of challenges just now. You work very, very hard. Mm -hmm. uh, congratulations to both of you. Uh, Louise, Star 1000, and also VIP. Well done, Louise. I think that, uh, Louise Rennick, that is. And I think that's... Uh, most of ours. If I've forgotten any, I will put them up in the group later on. But well done, everybody. Great. If you've forgotten any, but I doubt it, but I'll come back to you if you have. Yeah. But well, well done, team. Great start for team. Well day done, day. team really velocity. Forward. And well done. Was it Laura and yeah. no Louise and Louise Mullins and Laura Wright? That was right. Laura. So we're getting. We've now got another right just to confuse us. So Laura Wright, yeah. Elisa Wright. Um. Yeah. And now, so we'll tell Laura and Lisa congratulations from the whole of the A team. And I was actually too busy going, well done to the first <laughs> one. So while I was doing that, you said the first girl, how she'd got her sales. Maybe you could just repeat that for us. Yeah, she, she had some catalogues to give out to friends and family and uh, also did some online as well. But she's very, very busy. Oh. She, runs, she runs her own publishing company and she's really... Meeting herself coming back, really, and a uh, great start. Really, really proud of her. Excellent. And it's Laura, the girl who's doing it with the competitions. Yeah. Is that for another training? <laughs> that probably is. That's a whole new envelope of trainings. It's very unique. I'm tempted, <laughs> to, I'm tempted to get you to do the training next week, Kate, on <laughs> online, but I'm making it 
January it leads. January it leads, but oh, January it leads. <laughs> yeah, they really wanted that for the leaders meeting. But yeah. you are. I will say, I did ask it just so you know. And it, the literally, people are coming to her at the moment, and it's attraction marketing. Yeah, it's attraction. They also, there also is be aware of this, guys, because there are some other companies who remain nameless who are. Um, running down their catalogue operation at the moment and there are people in these businesses who are catalogers who are wanting to keep that opportunity alive and for that reason they're coming to Viva. Some people have been in Clean Easy with us, uh, some people have been in Viva MK before and, and left for whatever reason but now they're coming back because we have got an opportunity. You've frozen Kate. Oh, Kate's got to go. Uh, but maybe we didn't have the same catalogue um, imperative that you that you look out for these people because there's people looking for an opportunity um, and there was don't a need couple to of name was kate name them because it doesn't matter everybody most well, one people, of them starts with a it's not a secret it's not a secret <laughs> it's better where yeah right so, are, so, so she keeps her wee halo <laughs> there is a there is a situation there, there was a situation with better where about three or four weeks ago uh, that was alarming people that worked with them uh, because their opportunity wasn't there for them anymore and very very suddenly they, they did they did something that that rocked the boat massively within their business out with the catalogue issue uh, and people are now realizing that they might not be as stable as they think they are in better way and they're coming back to viva so watch for that opportunity speak to anybody you know who's with better way or has been with better way or might be looking but the other thing I want to say is about two weeks ago, I meant to tell you to watch this one. There was a programme on, I think it's a, a, I can't remember if it's specifically a Scottish uh, documentary series. It's called Dispatches. Dispatches. Um, and Dispatches. It was about a fortnight ago. And they did, it was only, unfortunately, it was only a half hour programme, but it was about people. Uh, it was It was called something like side hustles or something. I'm, I'm not a big fan of that phrase, but the, but the theme of the programme was side hustles. And what the reporter was saying was that one in four adults in the UK, one in four adults in the UK are currently doing something to earn extra money. And it's it's been brought about massively because of the cost of living and the cost of fuel and the cost of electricity and everything like that. But they only touched very, very briefly on network marketing and they didn't mention any specific companies. But they were talking about people who are, I think they spoke to a lady who was a dentist or something, but she was doing a uh, craft, you know, craft fairs and everything on the side and uh, selling on Etsy and everything like that. And sometimes it's people you wouldn't expect. So you don't know who's looking. So always make sure everybody knows you've got a business. Mm -hmm. Always make sure people know you've got something to offer them and you're sincere and you're out there and you're up front. And make sure they know because one in four people in the UK are currently doing something to earn extra money and the, the other three out of four will probably be looking for something yeah, but that's especially active whether especially it's, just now yeah i mean whether it's whether it's dog walking maybe maybe they work in a shop but they, they're a dog walker on the side or you know maybe maybe they're uh, selling you know at craft fairs and different stuff like that it might not necessarily be a network marketing business but everybody is looking so of the one in four that are doing something else there are three out of four that are probably looking. Yeah, definitely. Well, you know, not everybody's able to do anything else, but nobody's making enough money just now. It's absolutely terrifying. There was actually it's an article, terrifying. There was an article on the Tea Time News tonight, and they were talking to people who are now turning off their fridges to save electricity. Oh, I mean, that is I'm, terrifying. I'm going to speak to Jane after the training about this, because I still can't, I, I studied economics. I loved it at high school, and we've done it for six months, and I loved it. I, I can't understand when they tell you that inflation is 7.5%. I know that's the difference between prices and wages, but products are going up at, like, more than 7.5%. Yep. Lark pack butter that was £3.75 is now a fibre. <laughs> Grace has said to me, Grandma, you, you, you were going to get butter. I said, I but I'm not buying a fibre for Lark pack. <laughs> Think my dog foods went up by a whole pound. That is literally 25% increase or like a 50% increase. 50% increase for the dog food going up for a pound. It's, prices are crazy. 
electricity, gas, it is, we are in a recession. And as I said at the beginning of the training, um, it's a recession proof business. And that, this is why people are looking for businesses, but also there are still people with money. Jane, your team, well done yourself and congratulations on Star 2000. How did your team get on? How you can recognize them for anything you want. Well, um, well done retailing, continuing through the summer. Um, well done to John and Jane Renton who are retailing whilst packing up the house and moving house okay. and are moving quite a distance away and continuing to keep their retail base in the area they are at, at present. Um, I think, I actually think that John just missed Star 300. However, Fiona, as always, because our target is to do excess of a thousand pounds every four weeks, and she achieves it. Well done, Fiona. And Fiona will give you the exact figure. Um, I was only just over it, it was something like 1,070, but um, we've not had a good um, period, so we've actually only worked two weeks again. That's yeah. amazing result, Fiona. Yeah. Well done. Yeah, nice. It's excellent. Well done. Congratulations. Um, because I know there's lots of things get in the way. But, you know, right. that, that's called life. Right. And, and that is why we do network marketing. Right. Uh, because lots of things get in the way. We don't want a boss or we don't want another boss. <laughs> um, and yes, places are rising. I don't think we've had... Uh, so many price increases and so much since decimalisation. And unfortunately, I think a lot of people are rising prices to go back to your economics because they can, because they have an excuse to do it. Yeah, that's why I um, think Jane, even if they don't have a reason, they've got an thought. excuse to do it. That's disgusting. Um, but they did do it at decimalisation as well. So I was um, because, because the majority of people couldn't figure out how much one in seven was in in to six pence in, was. in two pence. And yes, I appreciate probably Jeff's not too old to remember it. Too, I, too I young, think I was yeah. ten. Was it nine, or, I was was it nineteen sixty nine? No, Jeff will remember this. I was nine. I remember it, but I don't remember the inflation. No, you wouldn't be at that age. I think um, I was nine. But Jeff was possibly in the services at that time, were you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I remember decimalization. Was it 71 or 73? I thought it was 69. No, it was 70. Was it? It was 71, it was in the early 70s. Yeah. I well, when I was in first year and I was 11, a packet of crisps was two and a half pence, so it was definitely it was in then. <laughs> so well, Jim's favourite is for a pound <coughs> when he was 19, he used to get eight pints of beer <laughs> and 10 cigarettes, and I can't remember the other thing. And I, I said that to him, I said, I don't know that that's something you want to boast about. <laughs> but, you know. Well, my favourite was a Mars bar at two pence, and the Tudor crisps were two pence, but the Golden Wonder were half a pence either. That's what I used to wear. And cigarettes, because my mum used to send us to the local shop, which was the lady's house, so it was, and you go to her house and you give her 13 pence and get 10 cigarettes. Cigarettes are now eleven pound for twenty. And, <laughs> and I, uh, but she was I selling think, cigarettes to me when I was like in primary yeah. school. And I, I, I ran a house with two children on eleven pounds a week. <laughs> that's inflation. It's it's quite uh, you know I mean that's a long time ago. Don't misunderstand. I, that's... I remember when petrol was thirty five p a gallon. Mm. Gosh. I remember when we were horrified that it was going to be a pound. I and remember going and putting just a pound in, though. Uh -huh. <laughs> anyway, I, I digress. Just up, I've been that skint, Jane. Yeah, and I, even back then, a pound was 
you were shown that you were skint. It's the equivalent of going and maybe putting a fiver in now. <laughs> but that's oh. interesting to know that the inflation, I didn't know that, that fact that the inflation now is worse. But it is, I do always say that they put the prices up because they can, but then the shopkeepers say, no, but there's a rise in diesels and so it's costing us this. But I'm sorry, you've got that stock. You've had that dog food on your shelves and you have just put it up by a pound. It's £4.25 for a wee small baker for my dogs. I, th I think as well, though, um, a, a lot of prices have been frozen for a long, long time because they didn't have a reason to increase them. Not one that would have ensured that other people would have said, I'm not coming to your shop. Mm. So now they have a reason. Yeah. Um, you know, the good, I, the good yeah. news is it'll start to go in the other direction as we start to come out the recession and we will, we're in a recession proof business. We need to tell more people about the opportunity because, as Kate says, there's four in one people have got an extra income. I remember when I went to Hong Kong, every second person had an extra income. One in two people had an extra income in Hong Kong. And people are looking. Because you know they don't have a second business and a second income like us, and I am I am genuinely horrified with the increase in prices. And you know because I, because of this little thing, it tells me as much gas I use. I'm like, what? I've just used four pound for half an hour. Do mm -hmm. you know what I mean? <laughs> Three quid for a bath. I've started to have showers. <laughs> Um, but everybody else is in the same situation and we have a great opportunity for them. We're getting lots of success stories. The product range is just phenomenal. So well done, 18 rhinos in a fantastic period uh, seven and looking forward to another brilliant period eight. Um, anybody want to say anything before we wrap up? Because I've said enough, I've been talking nearly two hours now. Yes, yeah. I do. Um, last period, I um, went to a um, an area to blanket drop. Um, the I, I've got an estate that's off a dual carriageway, and before I get to the, the estate, there's a number of roads that are dead ends that back onto the new estate. So um, the first one before my estate, um, I've got uh, three customers. So I thought I'll go back one before I get up the dual carriageway and I'll go to that road. Well, I went there last period and um, put out, it's about a hundred houses. So I put out a hundred catalogs, absolutely zilch. I think 13 people actually looked, um, quite a few stragglers um, didn't get anything. But, and yesterday um, it was really hot here. I mean, we got up in the morning and it was already 23 degrees outside. Um, so I thought I'll get up early. I've got all my catalogs done before the sun really comes up and gets hot. I'll go out. So I went out and got my catalogs out before the kids had got to school. Um, and um, I thought, well, I've got them ready. I've got to give them another chance. I can't just write them off. Um, this evening, I had a phone call and they asked me, what do you do with these catalogs? When do you pay? I said, oh, you pay when I deliver. So I said, OK, um, when shall I put the catalogue out? Oh, Thursday when I come round. So I've actually got one order that I Yay. know of. Um, I, uh, I was struggling last period to get orders in. Um, I was trying to get VIP, but I was oh, about £100 short and I couldn't raise any more orders. Um, and I, I'd been to a number of places and, and only managed to raise £67. But... We know that if you keep going and keep persisting, you will get orders. So I know that I've already got one order from that area that I drew an absolute blank last time. Excellent. Excellent. And it's, it's always one customer, and another one should get one, one customer's valuable. And if you, when neither the man of and they consistently did their 100 books a day, they only pick up one or two customers if they are lucky. Yeah. But if, Doing that and doing that and doing that over a period of time, hence the reason I've asked, suggested that you do the customer base training because you can add your own input and how yeah. you've built that customer base. 
Yeah. Um, and that's for week three. And week two is online. I'm just reminding myself I'm back from the training run before. Anybody else? That was brilliant, Jeff. Thanks for sharing. Anybody else want to add anything? Yeah, like Jeff, we were up and out early this week to try and beat the heat down here. Um, I did a 200 book drop, um, picked it up this afternoon. Still got a lot of stragglers to go back for. But yeah, we've got one new customer out of that. Which might not be yeah, if that customer sticks for the next 10 years, that'll be well worth the time we've spent. And um, yeah, that's how you look at it. Yeah. Um, Definitely yeah. looking at customers. Yeah. Um, yeah. I learned that from Nigel and Amanda that it's not the value of the orders, it's how many customers you pick up. And that's a whole different mindset, and that makes it worthwhile doing because you're celebrating the success of getting a customer, not celebrating the success of getting a £3.50 order. Exactly. I, I, I think as well, that's something that we have to remember when we're talking to new people because it was so simple. Uh, we had stats that said we got a pound a book. Now, the majority of the time, we did. I sped over a, a period of four weeks, you generally did. However, we don't have that. So we do need, as Jeff said, to count customers yeah. rather than. So I, I think, and, and that takes me into the, if Kate is attracting people, then maybe when people when someone next week can do retail, is it, can Jeff do retail next week? No, I can't do it till the third. So, so we're going to do online next week. We possibly keep, but with no car, I don't, she doesn't like being put Would it not be better when only one in four people are involved in a side hustle that maybe we should start with, um, how do we attract the people? Where yeah. are they being attracted from? Kate, is, is that, that me putting you on the spot? Or do because she quite often has she's now she's, Callum's at that age where he needs a taxi driver. I'm just gonna admit for her what her oh, no. what um, her problems are. <laughs> Kate, <laughs> we've all been there, darling. We've all been there. <laughs> oh, Kate, it never stops. <laughs> My daughter's 53 and I was a taxi driver last night. <laughs> and we have now taxi our grandchildren. It's taking upwards of six months to get a provisional driving license at the moment. <laughs> so, uh, no, six months, mate. Yeah. Eight. So, six months, mate, we'll for a provisional. And, and because we haven't sent away for it yet, he's not going to get it before Christmas. <laughs> oh, okay. Get sent away for Kate, because that'll be the best thing that you can invest in, trust me. It's, it's, oh, well, actually, it's no, because then you start worrying about them driving. I was going to say it's the worst thing you can invest in. Teach them how to do that. Is that in my house? As I started to say that, Jane, I just realised that. Aye. It was, yeah, keep driving them about. We don't mind. You can let us know after the meeting, but one way or another, we'll have a sponsor in training. So should we just put them in reverse order? Because I was retail sponsor, you but we can go sponsor retail. We, we know that Jeff can't do next week. I can do next week, but I can't do the week after that. I'm out on the 3rd of August. No, so it would be next week because Fiona said she couldn't make next week. Is that right? Uh, I might make some of it. I'm not quite sure. I've got to do a couple I, of I uh, would need to make all of it if you were doing the training because I was going to, I, I just didn't remember if I'd said to Fiona if she'd clarified. So would you, if you, if, we, if, if, if it's not possible, just say, Kate, I hate putting you on the spot. I never do that with anybody, but I've just done it with Jeff. Jeff will, never do that with anybody. I do it with Jeff. He'll say aye. Fiona, mm -hmm. Fiona will probably kill me later if she doesn't want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Kate's like me. She's going to have to think about it. I've got to go on. Is that okay? Or? I've got a week's notice instead of 10 minutes. <laughs> oh, Who's that? I hate when Jane does the training. She only gives you ten minutes. That Jane does. <gasps> oh, <laughs> sorry, Kate, but you know it's because I keep thinking I'll manage it. I'll manage it, and I think, oh, I'm not going to manage it. Can you do it, Jane? Can you do it, Kate? This is what's called leaders. These are leaders. These are amazing leaders, and I'm very proud of all of you. And I mean that genuinely. So if Kate um, could, we can have a, um, you know, Kate always says um, 
She can't put anything again and then she'll go, did it didn't type me a wee message and that's it. Proof on the PowerPoint is done. She could add a lot of through lots of trainings because she's doing them. Uh, so talk, that, sorry, that one, it, it was just when you said PowerPoint. I was looking at a Tom Schreiter um, something or other to do. Um, and here's a bit too salesy for me. I'm not that, mm. I'm, I'm not a promotion of them but what I did say was when we're talking to people we have to forget what we used to do mm -hmm. no powerpoints no zooms just build a rapport two or three minutes and tell them what they want to know yep and, and yeah. I think, you know it's I would yes, disagree with that if it was a training, Jane. We're doing Sorry. trainings. We're doing trainings. No, you've no. Got, you've got visual, I, I just, you've got audible. I, yeah. I, I actually do not get very much of somebody who does a training without having something visual. For me being visual, if they don't have a PowerPoint, I don't I don't learn as much. He's big Al does he's one one no, 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 no. Zoom I'm after the other after the other. I'm, after I'm the talking other. about talking to new prospects. All right, sorry, it I thought you were talking no, about a training. Right. No, no. You no. do have thought your new prospects, I would agree with that. I wouldn't do a PowerPoint for a new the, I might I do it is, online. Wait, come here. I think as well we've wait, got to um maybe reduce the wait. amount of time that uh, we take on trainings to, if we want people to watch them. Well, I would agree with that. I'm thinking, um, I mean, there are some sections, for example, the retail with the catalogs, how to build a strong catalog customer base, definitely takes more than 20 minutes if you want to do a good job of it. That is the only section. But I like what we used to do, guys, and Jane's got a good point, and we're, we're getting to about quarter to nine just now. We used to have the training that would be 20 minutes long, 25 at the most. We'd have a, a chat at the beginning, a chat at the end, then finish by quarter to nine. So since we've been talking about trainings, and it's been mainly leaders, all leaders on tonight anyway, who's joined the recognition, we can just finish what we were saying, you know, on our um, leader Zoom. Uh, that why we are looking at what we want to cover because once you watch the, the video, Jane, you'll see what we're looking at, what we want to cover on these training dates in week two and week three. And where we are taking that into consideration, I would just like to re re reiterate what Jane's saying. I agree with Jane. I think they should start at eight, maybe have five or ten minutes. Well, I'm happy to start at ten too. But some people like to have a chat before. Amanda and Nigel, if they're not busy, they'll always come on early. So I'm happy to open the room at 10 to 8, but the meeting starts at 8. We'll still have five minutes where we get a wee catch up. Sometimes that's when you get a good positive story. Start with a positive story, end with a positive story. Training, 20 minutes, maybe as I say, catalogue retail. I've found that generally takes longer because you've got slips, you've got callbacks, you know, there's, there's a lot of tracking, there's a lot in a catalogue retail training and if it's rushed. But I would say the training to be between 20, 25 ideally, but if it's got great content, I'm happy for it to be 30 minutes. Do you know what I mean? I don't care if it's got great content, but my goal would be to finish like we used to be for the 8.45. That's a question to put out to everybody. In the team, <laughs> he's not going to see this because I'll have to edit it because it's my recognition video. That's a question I'll ask in the project premiere. But what do you guys think? Jane, I think I'll agree with me because you suggested that. Is that right? <laughs> Your thumbs up? Uh, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I agree with that totally, Jane. I, I, I think it, it's more for new people watching trainings as well, though. You, we've, we've, we need to, it, it's different for us, different for us, you know, if we're interested enough, we'll go and watch it, but a new person, well, Kate, you've got two new people, Luna. are you going to sit them in front of maybe a video that, or a, a training video that's, say, half an hour long, 
or are you going to drip feed that video to them? But Jane, My we've only got 52 weeks of the year and half of them are, we've only got half of them for Zooms. So okay. we can't drip feed everything. We do have to- No, no, but we what do I'm have saying to have, is- Like what? even if you just take our seven sections and divide that by the 20 odd weeks that's left, we don't, we, but there has to yeah, be- out. There has to be a balance. I think 20 to 30 out. minutes is acceptable. I mean, some of the sections will be 20 to 30 minutes long. And if they're not prepared to watch that, then there's nothing we can do with it. But if you can cut a training to suit a time. I think most trainings can be successfully done and saying that in about 20 to 25 minutes, you know, if you want the right content in them. But yes, you, you would break it down if you were working with them, Jane. They would, you know, you you would do it a bit at a time, but we we've only you've got. Oi. Does that make sense? No. We've had much longer got twenty odd weeks to do trainings in. I uh, I appreciate that, and that's why. Hey, get it. Really put yourself on mute. Mary, put yourself on mute. But you can put Mary on mute. Oh, I can. Right, sorry. <laughs> she keeps putting herself off mute. I it's think that. Mary needs to go to dog obedience class. <laughs> Not the dog, just Mary. <laughs> Mary, do you want me to slap her? Because I'll see her before you. I'm not going to tell you what they were doing. <laughs> oh, don't <laughs> tell me. It's no, recorded. It's recorded. I'm, I'm going to them separate. Get 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 them separate. Jane, you go back to the training. That is to be yeah. discussed. That's the kind of things. We'll not discuss it just now. That is something, when you watch the video, that is something that I do want us to discuss. But we started to discuss it just now. So I apologise to everybody else because that discussion with Jane and I wasn't for tonight. But we do, you know, we've got loads of things. If you think about it, really, I think we really do only have 20, half, 25, 26, 27 <laughs> trainings on Zooms. So maybe we need to think a wee bit out of the box then and see how we can still give information that people need, want, but in a way that the world wants it now because we've all become instant gratification people. Mm. Maybe, yes. maybe, maybe can we think out the box and see if there's a way that you know, those trainings can still have, quite rightly, Lynn, good, necessary content. Basic content's all they need. Basic steps to start off with, it's for new people and the leaders having the, the extra content. And that's why I was saying, probably if you, when you do watch the video, you see that's what I was talking about. And, right. you know, okay. we've got this Sorry. detail, the goals, that's all going to be there for them online. Each video is going to be there. So what you're saying is correct. But the same side of the coin is it has to be enough that be, because we do only have, it's the, it's the amount of them that we have. We're only doing one Zoom, two, two a month, two every four weeks. So it's like- Oh, 20, I'm not talking about Zoom. It's, not even 20, it's probably 25 weeks worth of trainings. Um, and we can split them, but if you're working one-to-one -one with a person, it's up to the person working one-to-one -to, -one to break it into bite-sized pieces. And uh, the, we've, we've broken it down into seven steps. Um, we didn't want to have 21 steps, <laughs> um, you know, but that's something that we can discuss, you know. Uh, I probably will edit Sorry, I, I didn't see the earlier. It's my fault. I should have pressed stop recording when we started talking about trainings. We, Stop the